Ready you up. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about something that's been on a lot of EV owners' minds lately, charging speeds and time. As you may already know, there's a few different types of charging stations out there. There's level one charging, which is typically done at a home using a 240 volt outlet in Australia. Then there's level two charging, which is what you'll usually find at public charging stations and can charge an EV in a matter of hours. And finally, there's DC fast charging, which can charge an EV to 80% in just 30 minutes or less. The level one, which I mentioned, the standard house outlet, uh, you can also plug into a, go to a caravan park and have a special plug, which will give you a little bit faster than a standard outlet. Level two is, is generally seven to 11 kilowatts. So if you buy a, a wall unit from Tesla and install that in your house and have it on a dedicated circuit, you can expect to get about seven kilowatts on single phase and 11 kilowatts on three phase in your house. There are other brands that do charges as well. Then when you're out, driving around, maybe doing a road trip, or you're in a city location, there's the DC ch fast chargers. A lot of the ones in the city are around 50 kilowatts. Ultra rapid chargers at 150 kilowatts, they're the ones that you're gonna see on a road trip. Some of them in Australia go up to 350 kilowatts, which is quite fast. There's two types of Tesla superchargers. There's a V3 and a V2. The V3 are the new ones that are out. They can go up to 250 kilowatts, and the V to 120 kilowatts. So but there's quite a difference in, in the speed of those. The time it takes, fast charging for a, on a roll to rapid in a Tesla Model Y, about 35 kilometer range to 276 kilometer range in about 25 minutes, which, which is, yeah. So, but here's the thing, not all electric vehicles are created equal when it comes to charging. Some EVs have a larger battery capacity, which means they'll take longer to charge and not all charging stations are created equal either. Like I mentioned, there's a lots of different ranges Ranges, a lots of different sizes and some of them will charge it faster and slower. I, I think what it matters is if you're on a road trip and you're on an ultra rapid charger, 25 minutes is all you're going to need. And are they all compatible with the same ones? All the chargers? The yes. Yeah, they're not all compatible with the same chargers. So the Tesla supercharger network in Australia right now is Tesla only. In uh, Europe, there are some Tesla stations which you can use with other EVs. The major networks in Australia are ChargeFox, which you can charge all EVs with, including Teslas. And there are other uh, Jolt, which is mostly based in city locations, as well as a, a lot of other charging networks as well. So what does this mean for you as an EV owner? It means you need to plan your trip accordingly. But if you're looking to buy an EV, make sure that battery capacity and the charging speeds of your car really align with your needs. So those that are planning in Australia, say a trip, you want a car that can do the distances between the superchargers. But if you're just city driving and you're, you're happy to stay in your city and you're, or you're commuting to work each day, you might be able to get away with a cheaper EV with a smaller battery capacity. So I guess the other thing when it comes to charging is cost. Public charging stations often have different pricing based on the type of charging, with DC fast charging being the most expensive option. So if you're on a budget, uh, you wanna stick with a level two charging or even level one charging at home. Most people, especially if you're just driving in the city, are gonna be happy with a, a charger at home. Either just the level one plug it into the wall or uh, spend maybe $2,000 in Australia to get an electrician to install uh, a level two charger for you. So some of the pricing for the Jolt chargers in Australia, they offer a subscription right now where you get seven kilowatts of charging for free. And then after that, each kilowatt costs you 45 cents. These chargers charge at about 25 kilowatts. The ultra rapid chargers, which you would use on a road trip uh, with any EV charger from ChargeFox cost about 60 cents per kilowatt. This will depend on the location. And charge up to 350 kilowatts for most of those ultra rapid chargers. And then there's the Tesla superchargers, which are also priced at 60 cents for a kilowatt. But don't worry, there's, there's a lot of ways to save money on charging. Some charging networks offer membership plans or loyalty plans that you can uh, give to get discounts on your charging costs. Uh, ChargeFox offers a 20% discount to RAA members in South Australia or uh, RACV. So all of the motoring clubs, if you have a membership with them in your state, like NRMA, RACV, RAA, etc. That provides you with a 20% discount on all ChargeFox ch stations. Another thing to keep in mind is availability of charging stations. When you're on a road trip at a busy time of the year like Christmas, there can be a little bit of a wait time. So you might wanna think about that when you plan ahead. There's a number of apps and websites that can help you with finding charge stations in your area and even show their availability and pricing. And I can definitely go through that in another video. All in all, EV charging is definitely something to consider when it comes to owning an electric vehicle. 
but with a little bit of planning and a bit of research, you can make sure you're always able to charge up and hit the road. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Subscribe!